Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. We're on episode 19 and I like this. I kind of like my base. Um, down here I have set up a tree farm. That's fully automated now. And for some reason uh, it did cut down all the trees in this area. I have no idea why. Um, I didn't reach these ones. So I don't know. It shouldn't, I mean, it should cut in front, but, oh well. I'm not gonna use these four tree farms anyhow. Let me get down here now. Did it cut this? Nope. I'm um, just gonna cut myself down to the ground. So I have set up a bit of a loop back down there. Uh, so that trees that grow here, when they're cut down, all the stuff will go back in two. Well... Actually, all the uh, saplings that it makes will go back into the uh, tree farm in the middle. So let's just switch that one on, so get the sludge out. Uh, eventually, I will get it so that any overflow saplings will go to this system here. Right now, it's taking the overflow wheat and eventually the overflow carrots, but let me go downstairs and show you. Oh, here we go. I'm pretty sure I don't need all these dynamos, but whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter. They're pretty efficient, so. Uh, this one, yeah, see? It's getting oak saplings uh, back, and anything overflow will go into the barrels up there. Also, sludge will go to the sludge boiler, which will eventually, if things work out, and I don't want to step too close to it now. Yeah, you see, we get a lot of nifty items from this one. I should expand that chest. Also, set up, in fact, I should set it up so that everything from this one goes back home. It's not too tricky. I don't have the item ducts yet, though, so let's put that in just so we have good space. This is a very long time. Um, so, let me head back home and up. This is uh, the power production plant for my bees. Yes, I have bees now. Go up. Here we go. And I have actually lots of bees. I set up... Oh, nice, another diligent, diligent drone. And it's not the same as that one, so we'll put it away. You can see I'm starting to get a lot of bees. I need an indexer or something. Can we make these? Indexer. Yes. Actually, I'm going to have to look at the book for this. Because, if we look at bees and trees, the next step here is to make a carpenter a centrifuge, because we get a tree elizer and a bee elizer. I already have a bee elizer. Isn't that annoying? Oh well. I can live with it, I suppose, but... It's still annoying, because... I... Had it already. Yeah. Let's see, I'll get the honey drops. I'm gonna need to set up an automated system for this as well, because we're starting to get a lot of beeswax and propolis. Right now, the beeswax can go in there. In fact, let's place down a barrel there. Beeswax into the barrel. There we go. Now it's gone. Stored and, yeah, not in the way. So I do have a diligent now. Um, if we look at this, I need a common and a cultivated so diligent gets me a good one but the diligent one requires forest and meadows for instance i have a common drone but no common princess what we could do is do a bit of manual breeding let's get a pristine meadows and Let's give this one this treatment. This is Meadows Meadows, and this is Common Common. So, we can do this manually in this one, I think. This is now a Meadows Queen that is Meadows Common, I believe. Not that I know if this will show... It shows as Meadows Meadows, but it has the genes from the Common as well. So we're just gonna leave this running. I do have a Valiant, and this, this seems to produce, every now and then, some extra queens, and I like that. So, we're gonna leave it at that. 
But we need to make this one and uh, perhaps that one or probably down this way. Yeah. Um, learning to skyblock did change a little bit. So basically need to make a steam dynamo. I suppose I can do that. But let me take a look here now. We're starting to get a few apples over here and already three stacks. Wow. Three stacks of oak wood. This will plug up and clog up completely. I'm going to leave this area totally un changed here and I'm not going to plant anymore because trees we get plenty there. Right, so I increased the size of this smeltery just because I had to smelt something and I also finally expanded this to include all the ores except for platinum. Platinum I don't see using a lot of, so I'm not going to be worried about that. We got plenty of sticks and stones in there. Mm, plenty there. So over here I have expanded this to now have uh, eight on each type that it's making, so... That's 16. What is it? No, it's uh, 32 of them, I think. And this one is smelting some ores and it's causing a lot of lag and it's all good. It's really all good. The lag I can live with because of that. So, what do I want to do today? Except for walking around. I need to make the steam dynamo. How do you make that? Steam dynamo. I need... That's pretty easy. Let's get copper. Let's get... Um, put away the inver. I need two of those. I also need a silver... Piece of silver and some redstone. So, let's craft this up. That. Oh. Two copper gears. And a steam dynamo. Claim reward. And I probably want to clear out my inventory before I do this. There are some changes now, because I have updated, and uh, it almost broke everything for me. Um, but I'm good, I think. Um, ah, so much in my inventory. Propolis and bee stuff, and ingots, and redstone. I can put away this glass, and I can probably put away these as well. This can go in here. For now. Okay, so now, let's take a look at this bag. It will tell me what I get. Okay, but not so great. A sort of splintering. Great, another sort of splintering. Well, in case the one I have now breaks. I'll put it away in my toolbox. What's the next one? Uh, cultivating the harvest. Yeah, I did that one, so that one's fixed. So now it's just this one, okay? I also completed the librarian, made a book binder. I'll show you that in a moment. So now we're just really waiting for stuff to be able to make this. I do like the idea of an endothermic pump. Hmm. Okay, so next one. Hell's Kitchen. Still need a cow. <sighs> so. Leather. There are very few ways to make leather, and I think this is going to be the easiest part, easiest way. So I'm going to use this blaze rod that I got and make a brewing stand. Just cobblestone. You can do that. Perfect. So, this. And now we can make... The alchemy, alchemical stand. Well, what is it again? So we need a weak blood orb. I have that. Two obsidian. Yeah, we have that. I can make this thing. The alchemy set. Okay, so I put these and these, and I do hope I get this one back. Yep, I do. Let's place this down there. So, what did it say now? I needed to place this one down, and does it say how much I have in here? Oh, I need this one, right? I have 5,000 LP. So, 200 for leather. So, let's check again. Leather required 
water, flint, and leather. Well, water, flint, and this. Let's actually get a goodly amount of that. So, water bucket goes there, flint goes there, and I'll put that in each one of these. And it's boiling. I got three leather. So, if I now go and fill this one again, it's boiling. And it's using a little bit of LP here. That's good. I got six leather because here. Is the good thing with this. The shaped crafting around an egg spawns a cow. And when I can spawn cows, I can start farming them for real. But, how do we want to do that? Well, I think I'm going to make a breeding pen here. And we're going to need a chronotyper. Oh, that's expensive. Purple dye. Well, we can make that. We can make that. It's not too expensive. A chronotyper and a... Let's see. A breeder. Mm, we can make these. Not too bad. We're also gonna need a grinder. In Varsor, we can make this. It's not too bad. We have all we need. Except for an egg. Well, I have an egg. Egg. And this, and we have spawn cow. Now, let's put that one away. I'm gonna have to do this a couple of times so that we get um, a good amount of leather. I'm gonna need a total of eight more total. So, yeah. Let me do that, set up a pen for these, and be right back with you. All right, so whole bunch of time later I have purple dye and I'm gonna keep that rose red and store it like it was really really rare because it is you have no idea now a breeder and a chronotyper these two machines will help me out um, the grinder is the next one I need requires some invar sword books we can make um, do I have the stuff for books? Actually, I do have paper, and then I need that, and I actually need some string. I think that much. Uh, because using sticks gives me these blank patterns, and let's see. I think it's that. Yes. So we need another set of st uh, sticks. There we go. And I'm hurrying this because I want to show you this in action. So, just crafting this up. The grinder will require tin gear. You can make these. Fairly simple. Eight total. We're also going to need a bit of iron. There we go. And, of course, the Invar sword. How do we craft that? Oh, it's just a normal recipe. I thought that was nerfed. But it isn't. It's good. So, like that, Invar Sword, we have everything for that one. No? What are we missing? Sword, that one, that one, the books, these, and these. Oh well, grinder. Perfect. Now I'm going to need all these conduits. I also have a lot of flu ducts. And I'll need more item ducts, I'm pretty sure, but we'll start with this. And I'll show you this new little cool area that I've made. And, hey, I'm missing a piece of stone. Hmm. We'll fix that. Basically, the chronotyper will go here. And it will move babies. Or adults. No babies. It will make uh, move babies. Here I will place the breeder. 
This one have sides. This looks like the front side. This one will take in lots and lots of wheat. And finally, on this here side, actually put it there. I will place the grinder. Here we go. And let me head down and my word, the stutter right now. It's annoying. I can live with it, but it's annoying. Okay. Um, reminds me I need to set up a smooth stone setup soon. Let's see, have that one there. I do hope that I can just feed this one like so. This one will take that juicy stuff out. Um, this one also produces uh, liquid well, mob essence. So this will be an interesting thing to hook up because basically I want to use the mob essence that we get from these to spawn endermen. I'll probably place the spawner in here and lock it off. Uh, with the grinder. And finally, where is my... Oh, it's here, isn't it? Chronotyper. That one only needs power. Good. Ah. Where do we get the power from? Well... There we go. So now these are powered up. And all I need now is a bit of time. A lot of luck. Wait, that's another. Okay, so we do have the spawn cow functionality here. And I will throw these down once I've closed that. Here. Hello, cow. Let me get a stack of, well, nine stacks. Should last me a while. Now this one is waiting for 200 ticks. And then, happy cows, little baby. And the chronotyper is waiting and Whoosh. No. Why is it not moving that baby? Oh, maybe it's the wrong way around. Let's see now. And whoosh. Perfect. Now this baby will be here until it grows up. And these will be ready in a while. So I need to spawn a lot of cows. I probably want to turn this one off. Yeah, we want to turn this one off for now. Let's turn it around. Actually, easy way to turn it off is to just turn it around. It will pull that baby back in there. Whoosh. And that will breed a substantial amount of cows for me over time. Right, so all I need now is to set up some barrels for the produce. Um, probably gonna need a rancher as well. Yeah, let's make a rancher. We need flu ducts and stuff like that. But let me set that one up. That one will sit yeah, on the other side. I'll also make a tank for uh, uh, milk there. So I have plenty of milk, I like it. Anyhow, so that's it for now. I will catch you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.